Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you an easy glam makeup look. It's not going to be that kind of glam makeup look with layers and layers of makeup, 101 different products, five different eyeshadows and different techniques. It's not like that. We're keeping it simple, keeping it easy, but still accessing that beautiful glamorous makeup look. So let's get it started, shall we? Hold on. I need to hydrate. Do you ever just go the whole day and completely forget to drink water? I do that way too many times. Your reminder to hydrate. Okay, I'm actually going to an event slash date night with Yannick today and um, one of the events requires a pop of red. That's what inspired me to kind of do this makeup look for you guys because it's the classic red lip. A little bit neutral on the eyes. I'm talking too much. I already have my skincare base on. You guys know we're going to go ahead and go in with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. This is a protective primer. So it's more of a skincare based primer, which I'm all for because I do not believe you need to use primer if you have a good skincare base. Sometimes I just like to have my skin feel a little bit more dewy before I put makeup on. That's just a personal preference. You guys can completely cut this out. This again is not a replacement for your skincare routine. Let's get that straight. This is just an addition. We're gonna go ahead and apply this. It works great in conjunction with my skincare base. Again, personal preference, but this is a really good skincare base primer if you have to use a primer, if you feel like you need to use a primer. I didn't even apologize for my hair. I have it pin curled. I don't even know how it's gonna look. I haven't pin curled my hair in forever. I'm going to take it out at the end of this video and share with you guys what it looks like because I don't know what it's gonna look like. Let's get into the foundation. We're gonna use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations right now for a glam look because it's really light yet has good coverage. I am in the color 6.5. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> well, that didn't go as I planned it to be, but it's okay. I usually don't ever show you guys the makeup, but I'm trying this new thing to like show you guys the texture of the makeups and stuff. I'll get better at it, I promise. Okay, take a very little amount. I don't want this to be cakey. I don't want this to be overwhelming. I like my glam looks to be that way because I've gotten glamified in a chair with a makeup artist and I always feel really cakey and heavy. And yeah, the makeup looks good on camera, but it kind of looks scary in person. So I like to do a combo where you look good on camera, but you don't look scary in person. I'm gonna take the Sigma Soft Coverage F48 brush and we're gonna blend this in. This has become my favorite brush lately because because of how soft the coverage is. I love how it blends and it just makes every makeup that I put on my face look flawless. It almost has like an airbrush finish. I've tried this brush with so many different makeups, BB creams, just everything, and it always makes it look so flawless. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the brows. You guys have seen me do brows a lot. It's a benefit precisely my brow pencil and it's in the color 4.5 little bit lighter than what I usually go for but at least the product is buildable. Brushing them up as I go along I feel like that looks really good for coverage. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Brow Gel. The verbiage is completely erased on this thing so I don't really know what it's called. I don't know what shade I'm in. Probably either 5 or 4.5 but it's the little gel that comes in here. It's tinted. It's just gonna help the girls stay in place and add a little bit more coverage to the sparse brows. There you have it. I'm sorry if you're getting tired of me always using the hourglass concealer, but this is just tried and true. This stuff is so good. I love how it photographs in photos. I always get asked whenever I'm wearing it, like what concealer is that? I'm in the color Beach, B-E-E-C-H. Has such a good consistency. It's the perfect glam makeup concealer because of its coverage. The way that it sets off the face, you guys will see, I'll show you, cause I mean, I don't even have to talk this up. I'm doing a definer brush to define my brows and I'm using the concealer, kind of like the, the excess of the concealer over here. Sometimes I'll take it from my eyes, but today I wanted to take it from the tube. Clean them up because that is absolutely essential for every makeup look for me. Just something I have to do every time. Lightly over here so it doesn't look too boxy, but just enough. I'm actually going to add some of the concealer. I missed this part over here and over here. This is gonna help define my contour line, which makes contouring a lot easier, at least in my opinion. I'm gonna take a tiny little, guys, I must be tired. It literally escaped my mind. Beauty Blender. I'm gonna take the inner corner of my eye and blend this out. You guys will see how beautiful this coverage is and how immediately glam it looks. I'm going to switch over to my larger beauty blender to take care of this area and over here. 
and then above the eyes where I define the brows. When in doubt, blend it out. I'm going to take my soft coverage brush from Sigma and I'm gonna just blend out the concealer on my forehead because it looks a little splotchy. And then underneath the eye, on the nose, and over here just to make sure it's nice and blended and beautiful. Our next step is gonna be bronzer. This is definitely a luxurious purchase and a splurge, so if you can, do it. If it's not for you, I have a dupe. This is the YSL bronzer. This is the All Hours Hyper Bronze. I will make sure I link it the proper shade because there's nothing on the packaging that shows what color the shade is. Look at this finish. It's beautiful. Much as I do love this one, I'll show you guys the OG, which is Sigma, and I think it has also, I mean, I've used this a lot. This is a little lighter because it's um, the medium matte bronzer. I usually, I don't know where my dark one went. There you go. That's a little bit more of a comparison. This is also a matte bronzer. This one is a little bit richer, as you can see, but honestly, I feel like this one has a little bit more pigment. We won't go into a, too much of a deep dive on the two bronzers, but I feel like they're very comparable to each other because they're matte bronzer. We're going to take the soft angled cheek brush from Sigma, the F43 brush, lightly pat this in, and we're going to, in circular motions, kind of blend this bronzer out. I've said this before in other videos, but I'll say it again. Whenever I'm doing a glam look, powder is my friend. I love powder versus cream products because I just feel like it captures differently in photos, and it stays on a little bit longer and it's more precise because with a cream bronzer it's less precise it's more melted and blended into the skin which is also really beautiful but this is so precise it makes it look like movie makeup uh stage makeup i want to be precise with my nose contour really quick i'm gonna draw out my line for my nose because usually that is the best thing for a glam makeup look is a defined nose i'm gonna take that bronzer and go underneath my lip here Cupid's bow, Cupid's bow bold. Let me slow down that word. Take a lighter brush. This is the setting powder brush. No, it's not setting powder, but it's a great blender from Sigma. This is the F12. I'm just gonna blend that out. Circular motions. Let's move on to blush. I'm going to actually use the Sigma blush, Cord de Rosa blush. But that is a beautiful color. It is such a nice, versatile, shade. Let's do the Sigma Soft Sculpt brush. It's the F11 brush that they have. I'm going to go ahead and blend this upward on my cheeks, the highest point of my cheeks. Guys, I'm so afraid of having blush blindness. Have you guys heard of that? I probably have it. Put this up top here to unify the makeup look. Blush is done. Let's go into the highlight. I'm going to use the Patrick Ta Daddy highlighter. This is so complicated to open. Like, why? Why? That's the only thing I don't like about it. Some people really love that, but to me it's just like a little bit annoying. I'm gonna take this brush that I got from an Urban Decay palette years ago because it's my favorite highlighter brush, especially for under my brows. I'm gonna lightly go underneath there. This gives an iridescent look, and I don't know if it catches on the camera. It's really beautiful. Very subtle though. I use that on my small parts A moment of silence for the single lash that came from who knows where. Taking the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush to go ahead and do the high cheek part of my highlight. I don't know if you can see that. You see the iridescent around this side? Now, my friends, let's go into the eyes. We're done with the face makeup. I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani eyeshadow stuff. I, it doesn't have <laughs> doesn't have a name. This is what it looks like. I'll, I'll link it. I can't remember what the specific name of this product is, but it is a eyeshadow, a liquid eyeshadow. And I love this for when I'm in a rush, on the go. I want to look glamorous, but I don't have the time to like focus on my eyeshadow. It's like one and done for me. I don't have to do anything else. I'm going to use the tapered blending brush, the E40 brush from Sigma, and I'm going to go in with the Too Faced palette. This is Born This Way, The Natural Nudes. This is an essential palette to have. This reminds me of the Makeup Revolution Revolution palette, which I have some sad news. I had to throw it away. Guys, I had to throw my Makeup Revolution palette away. I'm so, so terribly sad about it. I should just go out and buy a new one because I know a lot of you guys have that palette because I talked about it and it is, it's a staple. It's, it's amazing. I love the browns. I love all the shades in there, but my baby girl got to it. She got to it and you know how it doesn't have a case on it. I don't know if you guys remember, but I broke the case and it has been just open. I had it one day just laying around um, in my makeup pile and she got to it and her little fingernails got all into the makeup and it was a fun mess to clean up, especially on carpet. But 
Until I get a new one, I'm going to use this palette, which I feel like is a great dupe. Or not dupe, because it's more expensive, but it's definitely an essential, a high-end essential palette, because look at all these colors. You've got an array of different types of nudes, and that is exactly what you need. Like, you need to have this palette, especially if you're a beginner. If it's not this one, the Makeup Revolution palette will work just fine, but this is a very high quality one. So I'm gonna use the color Truffle in the Born This Way palette, and we're just gonna do a light um, pass over the, the eyes. Light pass, it's not serious. Like, really, it can be super messy and whatever, because Again, we're making this easy. I'm going to take a smaller tapered brush. This one is from MAC, it's the 165S brush. Take that same color truffle and work it down on the bottom of my lash line. Crunch for time, I'm running out of time. Pinky finger's your best friend when blending, especially underneath the eye. I'm gonna add a light eyeliner on my waterline. This is the Makeup Forever Boundless Bisque. You guys know how much I love this. This is such a good trick to making your eyes look a lot bigger, to really making the eye makeup pop, even though you didn't spend much time on it. This is the trick. Almost done with the eye makeup here. I'm gonna add mascara. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara that I love. We're gonna go really light with this because we're gonna do lashes. We're gonna do false lashes, there we go. Just gonna do a little bit of a base, definitely going heavier on the bottom because I don't want it to look off balance. Because if you have false lashes on and you don't do your bottom mascara, it can sometimes look off balanced. And I feel like the whole allure of adding that waterline is that you have the contrast between the dark lashes. So it's definitely a must. Now guys, I'm gonna change your life right now. I'm gonna change your life because this changed my entire makeup game, my whole life. Lily Lashes came out with the no glue self-adhesive eyelash. No glue. You just stick it on your lashes and it stays. I have worn these so many times and they've stayed all day long. It's revolutionary, it's amazing. I didn't even know this kind of product existed until they sent it to me and now I'm obsessed. So gonna change your life, you're welcome. This is the best thing you can do for a simple and easy glam look. So I feel bad because I threw away the box of these particular lashes. I'm wearing these ones. These ones in the box are a little bit thicker and bigger than I'm used to wearing for my um, eye shape. I'm gonna find out what these lashes are called for you. These ones that I'm showing you, maybe you like a little bit more drama in your life. They're still self-adhesive, but they're the moneymaker ones. I'm just gonna literally stick it on my lash and it's gonna stay all night long, hold on, hold on. Watch this. I promise you, I did not think this was gonna work when I first tried them. I was like, what is this? And then I applied them and they worked like a charm. No glue needed. No glue, done. And they're not like one time use. It's usually after you use them once, you heat them up with the blow dryer and reapply them. Which to be quite honest, I didn't even do that this time and they're still sticking, so. Now to blend them out, I'm gonna go ahead and add that mascara on top just to make sure they're nice and blended and it looks fluid and not so fake. That is it for the eye makeup look. And usually I'd add a wing, but I'm kind of really digging this more minimal type glam look and let the lashes do the talking. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with lips. Favorite red lip combo ever. But it's tried and true, I love it. I love how it lasts me a long time. It feels good, it looks good. It's a great shade. They've done so well with this. I'm gonna use the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Besso. This is my favorite. You guys know I talk about this. If I'm gonna wear wear red lip, it's between this one and the Fenty one, but this one stays on longer than Fenty, it really does, but I do like the Fenty shade a little bit better, so it's kind of a toss up for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Plush Puddin Intensive Recovery Lip Mask from Fenty Skin, kinda just dab that on. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Red Carpet Red Lip Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury, this is just to help me line my lips ever so lightly. I'm not gonna bow out my lip like I usually have done because I'm finding that by doing this, it gives the appearance of a larger lip instead of limiting my lips by bowing them out or like following the cupid line. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Stilla. Look at this red. Look at that red, it's criminal. All right, beautiful people, we are just about set. Look at this, it's just, I love it. I love this look so much. It's tried and true. I'm going to, wait, I'm talking like I'm done. Setting spray. If I'm eating or do, drinking or anything, I have to take this with me. So I will take this with me along with a blotting powder. 
case I get oily. This is my Easy Glam makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. It's very reminiscent of like old Hollywood vibes. Um, let me show you guys what my hair looks like when I take it out because that's the final test. <laughs> we'll see if it looks good. Okay, those look good. I did this with my Con Air wand. Super easy. And then I just pinned them up with bobby pins. Again, I haven't done this in so many years. I gotta do this with the makeup look. It just, it fits. She behaved today. I'm so proud of her. It's always a hit or miss whenever it comes to, I feel like, doing pin curls. Let me just fan it out a little bit. You like it? I'll fix it, but for now, that's all I'm gonna share with you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.